Fermi Paradox, first introduced by physicist Enrico Fermi, asked the age-old question, where is everybody, or more specifically, where are all the aliens? When we factor in the size of the universe, the number of Earth-like planets, and the range of other variables as outlined in the Drake Equation, there should be tens of thousands or more extraterrestrial civilizations in the galaxy. And with the galaxy being around 10 billion years old, scientists say that intelligent worlds have had plenty of time to contact one another. So if aliens should exist, why haven't we encountered them yet? So here are four reasons that we still haven't found alien life. The rare earth hypothesis suggests that the chain of events that created life on this planet was so complex that only a biological perfect storm could recreate it elsewhere. While there may be Earth-like planets, none of them have exactly what it takes for intelligent life to develop. In other words, we haven't met any aliens, because none are out there, or there are so few and far between that contact is highly improbable. The major factor that makes Earth so hospitable to life is its long period of relatively stable climate conditions, which is due to the planet's unique orbit and position. The planet would likely be too cold or too hot, have too little oxygen, and be too unstable to support any life beyond bacteria. Paleontologist Peter Ward and astronomer Donald Bromley were the first to introduce the rare earth hypothesis. Even though nearly 15 years have passed since they publicized the theory, they are still confident that the odds of those worlds having life are really low. According to the Great Filter Theory, alien life does exist, but intelligent life is incapable of technologically advancing enough for long distance space communication or travel. Although our modern spaceships, satellites, and radios may make it seem like we're getting closer, we'll eventually reach a barrier or catastrophe that will either wipe us out or cause technology to devolve. We know cataclysmic natural disasters periodically strike Earth. It's possible that these type of events hit roads everywhere. Sending intelligent life back to the stone ages before technology can adequately develop. Maybe we annihilate ourselves, such as through nuclear war. Whatever the filter is, it seems to mean nothing but bad news for humans. Not only will we never communicate with space beings, we'll probably die trying. However, there is one possible bright side. Some think that we are the first individuals to make it past the filter, so we'll eventually be the first super intelligent beings to roam space. Even if other planets are hospitable to life, would the beings there evolve the same as us? Maybe they are so different that neither of us would recognize a signal from one another. Comparable to how bats visualize sound waves while we only see light. It's possible that humans and aliens operate with entirely different senses. As astrophysicist Lord Rees pointed out, they could be staring us in the face and we just don't realize them. The problem is that we're looking for something very much like us. Assuming that they at least have something like the same mathematics and technology, there could be life and intelligence out there in forms we can't conceive. Things get especially tricky when we're trying to connect with highly advanced races because they might use communication methods beyond our technological understanding. Our primitive radio emissions might look nothing more than just noise to them. It sounds like science fiction, yet people in prominent positions are confident that aliens live and work among us. For example, former Canadian Defense Minister Paul Heller gave an interview in 2014 in which he claimed that 80 different species of aliens live on Earth. Some of them, including Nordic blondes, look nearly identical to humans. Another group, the short greys, appear more like stereotypical aliens and stay relatively hidden from the general public. Heller is not alone in his claims. Physicist Paul Davis from Arizona State University and Dr. Robert Trundle from Northern Kentucky University have similar opinions about the existence of aliens on this planet. To Heller, Davis, Trundle, and those who share the same belief, the Fermi Paradox has already been answered. Aliens do exist, and whether humans realize it or not, they interact with us on a daily basis. So here were four reasons why we weren't able to contact extraterrestrial life so far. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a like and subscribe for more content consisting of strange anomalies and unusual phenomena. Thank you guys and see you guys in the next video.